Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg from in5d.com, and this is going to be new. This is something Ali's guided to do. It's uh, the Global Weekly Psychic Predictions. So uh, her guides were basically telling her right at the beginning of the night, uh, during the Aries, the first one of the night, right, uh, that we, we, we would be doing a 13th video, and this is for the Global Weekly Psychic Predictions. So okay. what do you think? I think they're talking about this week as well, I think. Okay. But I've got to be flexible with that because I don't know. So. so, okay, so right now we're doing this on July 24th, it's the 25th where you're at in the UK. Yeah. Um, but, so, but this will be for the upcoming week uh, and, and including right now, but the upcoming week of July 27th through August 2nd. And yeah. right now, up until then is, right? Yeah, I believe. So, okay. All right. Bring it on. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what, what your guys have for us and the cards. Okay. All right. Honestly, in the break, when we was just kind of getting ready for this, I was having a complete wobble. I was going, what the bloody hell are my guides doing? You know, talk about throw me right in it. So anyway, this is because there is so much going on. OK, um, you're not going to see some of the things that I'm predicting on your mainstream media. OK, um, I know that um, because that is all manipulated for um, the globalists, okay? It's all manipulated for those, okay? It's not the truth. Well, not all of it is the truth, okay? That's a lot of it isn't. Um, I tend to uh, watch RT news. I tend to watch that. Um, kind of like, I love Nigel Farage. I think he tells it how it is. So yeah, I follow a little bit of politics. So this is gonna be a little bit political, a little bit kind of, um, you know, conspiracy theory, even though I hate the words, um, but it's all linked with all of that, the truth element, okay? So I'm just gonna trust and stop waffling. <laughs> it's me going, you know, rabbit in headlights. <laughs> so. Okay, do what you got to do, guides. Okay, beginning of the week. Oh my God, starting off um, the tower. Okay, so this is why they wanted to talk with them, wasn't it? Okay, so something's going to kick start everything this week, okay, with the tower. Um, there seems to be an eruption of emotions. Okay, um, this would have to be something, um, something new, or it's something existing that reignites. Okay, otherwise, why else would I be talking about something that's already happening? Okay, that's that's. There's no need for me to be predicting this. Okay, so how are the emotions going to be for people at the beginning of the week? So for people at the beginning of the week. Um, you're going to need to look at things from different angles, okay? Don't look at um, just the mainstream media for information. See if you can find out and research things outside of that, okay? It really will change your life. But it is a little bit like the matrix. Um, do you want the red pill or the blue pill? Do you want to carry on in your blinkered life thinking that everything is as, as um, balanced as it seems to be, do you see what I mean, um, like on the, on the news and how things are? Or do you want the, the red pill that says, you know, this is the truth? Do you want to know the truth? Are you ready to know the truth? Okay, so some of you may not be ready and that's okay as well. Um, but I think I'm gonna be talking to mainly anybody who's watching this on In5D are gonna be open to it, okay? Um, so we're starting off with that tower. Okay, um, there's links with um, needing to 
um, okay, they're, they're talking about people that have one side that shows to the camera and the other side of them that doesn't, okay, the other side that's hidden. Um, I read recently um, this thing about Med Mel Gibson speaking out about what was actually going on. I have shared it on my Facebook, which is very interesting, um, talking about exactly what, what the situation is. Um, and the fact that they there is two sides to it, what they show and what they don't show. Um, there's also going to be a lot of happiness. So I want to say that there's going to be a lot of rejoicing because a lot of things are actually turning out, um, you know, for the better. Um, things moving forward. OK, we can we will be able to see that, um, you know, life is is getting more transparent that people aren't able to hide um, in, in the darkness anymore, that the light is being shine, uh, shined on them, okay, and, it, and the, it's being revealed. So a lot more of that re, um, revealing will be happening, okay, and that's where we're seeing this in the beginning of this week. Okay, I just want to... Okay, regarding our finances, there's going to be something new regarding our finances. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is where, um, you know, things will be, there's going to be change, an announcement about money, okay, changes over money, that sort of thing with the Ace, okay. Um, now, it may not be instant because we've got the hanged man, which means that there will then be a wait, okay, something to do with waiting, this will be announced, then there'll be um, the time. Does that make sense? There will have to be the wait. Um, but you will have to look at new ideas about um, what you think then. Does that make sense? It's like your, your whole way of thinking will change, okay? And there will be an element of panic um, around us. Um, but the panic has to be um, balanced out with the good just means so you do need to look at um, what else is happening okay um, and why we need the changes in the first place okay so um, you can't it's like you can't read the end chapter without reading the rest of the book okay and if you don't read that and you try and stay blinkered then it's going to be panicky for you um, so sometimes you have to accept that you've got to look into it in more detail. Um, so coming into the middle of the week, middle of the week, okay. So the middle of the week is about your home and um, you know feeling as if you are alone, okay, with this. Um, there's a, a definite feeling of um, nurturing, okay, so I feel that you, you need to do things in your, in, in order to make yourself feel better and feel more secure, you're needing to nurture yourself, okay, nurture how you're feeling, nurture, um, you know, because it, it's like, you know, when there's a lot to take in, it's like um, um, all of this information at once, um, try and do it in bite-sized bits. Don't do it all at once. There is a need for you to um, process things. And that's what they're saying, you know, because we have the hermit card and the hermit is about kind of taking your time out. Okay. Um, but it's all, all about wisdom. Okay. So let's see what else is going on here. There is going to be the rest before it gets busy again. Okay, so there will be kind of the, like the big um, announcement at the beginning of the week. Then there will be um, very quiet time. And that's what they're saying about, you know, being at home. Does that make sense? And processing things. Okay, and the nurturing. Um, because we've got the rest card. Okay, the four of swords means rest. OK, it's getting ready. You might have to battle. You might have to kind of, um, you know, stand up for yourself or stand up for other people. Um, you might feel as if you've got to um, kind of do something about what you've heard. OK, um, but they're saying that not the middle of the week. The middle of the week will be all about kind of like that, that kind of rest feeling. 
okay um financially we've got the balance okay there seems to be a lot more balance going on financially um where things are coming into um you know when uh, everything was a bit out of balance and then they're now is now coming into balance um they're showing me the weighing scales here okay to do with this okay so things are weighing up better okay and this is all about the coins okay there the full card indicates that there will then be a sudden change coming up um, later on in the week. So as we move further on into the week, towards the end of the week, the end of the week, could I do this again? Look, um, the full card twice. Okay, so this just indicates that there will be a leap forward again. Okay, so from being still and quiet in the middle of the week, the end of the week will then be quite busy. And I feel that is to do with kind of work matters, financial matters, currency matters. The beginning of the week, I think, is all about kind of news and information. And then the end of the week is about money matters. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to think about where you stand um, on the, all of the information, where do you stand? Stand in your truth. It's time to, um, I think it's time to pick a side, if you like. It's time to pick a side. It's time to say, you know, the red pill or the blue pill. What do you want? Do you want to stay blinkered or do you want to actually know the truth? To me, the truth indicates power and strength um, and it might be upsetting but um, when, when the truth is, is then forced at us because it's gonna be right in our faces soon, um, it's better to be a little bit more prepared beforehand before we kind of get um, in that. And what I'm saying is all around the um, child trafficking, it's around just Lane Maxwell, it's around um, Tom Hanks, there's a lot, there's a lot to this. Okay, so a lot of the information is on uh, Greg's, um, Greg's channel. He does a lot of research in the background. So you know that what he's what he is saying and putting out there, he has researched, he's dissected it, you know, he, you know, he, you can trust it. Okay. Um, and a lot of the other um, journalists are just repeating what they are being told to repeat. They're not actually being told, they're not actually revealing um, anything new. They're regurgitating, you know, a script. Okay, so there's no journalism anymore. Okay, so if you want real journalism, you're going to have to go to the other um, channels like, and this is why you need to support those other channels, because they're closing them down quickly because they don't want this to get out. So um, RT is a good one, like I said, Russian TV, RT. Um, you know, just, just look up the, the positive ones um, and I would say support, support Greg's, but yeah, there you go. So, knows what that all means. Well, you know, right off the bat, you, you, you were talking about the tower and the first thing that came to mind was the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center. Yeah. Um, which is interesting if you see you know the, tw the the world trade center here and then building seven um they're in the same alignment as the giza pyramids and orion's belt so what's going on right that's what the, the first thing i thought of is what's yeah. going on with orion's belt you know they yes. say that the orion wars have been going on for quite a while um orion's belt is also associated this time of the year with the Lionsgate, which is coming up on 8-8, eight, eight, August 8th. They call that the Lionsgate. So, you know, okay. we'll, see what kind of, what, we'll see what kind of energies and what happens with that. Um, another thing, too, you were saying that people can't hide. I know that um, there's some names that are going to be coming out uh, regarding Obamagate. Uh, and as well as Ghislaine Maxwell was saying that there are two presidents that have had uh, pedophile um, relationships and these names will be coming out. So this could well come out this week as well. Uh, so you're, okay. what you're this saying. This is news to me, this bit. 
yeah. I, and you haven't I haven't seen anything about the, the sweat twin towers or it, I haven't seen anything about that right right and um when you mentioned the ace of pentacles first thing that came to my mind was the gold standard that I was talking about and to my mind when I got it yeah this is this is a this is this isn't just for the United States this is a global gold standard that's that's going on um so everybody's going to be um, part of this and it's going to affect everyone lastly beginning of the night we talked about this i picked this shirt it's going to be very emotional this is this is the um water sign now when i say emotional it could it could also be very positive i mean don't think yeah. emotions crying tears it could be you know tears of of, of happiness as well so um mm. Hang in there yes. and, and look for the bright side in every situation that, that that's is going what on. came out with that those cards. That was interesting. Look out for the bright side, mothering, nurturing. Okay. Mm -hmm. The nurturing card came out. And that's perfect because mothering, nurturing, you know, the what, children. What seeing, exactly. And that's what we're seeing right now. Um, and and the as children horrible, have been rescued. As horrible as this child trafficking and pedophilia is, the children are getting saved this is going to end no more kidnapping many many children are going to be saved because of this and that's the bright side that everyone needs to see so what worries me not worries me but um imagine that somebody had had their child missing how do they know that some of these children aren't those children and all, you know, for as well, for as long as some of these children have been missing, how do you get back to a normal life? You, you, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, you know? that's what worries me. That, but, you know, they are alive, but in what capacity? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So we've, we've got to kind of think, you know, but the, it had to end. It has mm -hmm. to end. It can't carry on. But yes. that's obviously why they wanted to do this little video, maybe. Did yeah, I? yeah. So. We're gonna leave it off at that. Let's look, yeah. let's just uh, put it out there, and we'll see how this uh, goes at the end of the week. We'll take mm. a peek back and mm. yes, see what happened. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave it off there. On behalf of my beautiful twin flame, Allie, I'm Greg. We're both sending you all infinite love and light. Till the next time, namaste. Bye.